Hey everybody, Jay, Krista, <laughs> Say I Do Forever, coming at you, Money Monday, and we are talking about Proverbs and Wisdom. And there is a certain rapper that we're going to talk about, not a paper rapper, but actually a hip-hop rapper, that we're going to talk about that completely fell flat, and he learned the hard way, and now he's doing better. And I'll also tell you of a quote that he said, but first we're going to get to Proverbs 19.8 and Proverbs 25.28. And in Proverbs 19.8, it says, He who gets wisdom... <laughs> He who gets wisdom loves his own soul. He who cherishes understanding prospers. Would you care to expand on that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yes, he who gets wisdom loves his own soul. Um, in other words, if you're out searching for wisdom, it's the best way to love yourself. It's the best way to be good to yourself because you're going to um, prosper. You're going to um, do better at everything you do because you've gained wisdom. So you're going to go through life easier. You're going to be at more peace. And he who cherishes understanding prospers. In other words, um, if you really value understanding and you're always trying to learn, you're always trying to understand, always trying to grow, uh, seeking out the counsel of wise people, if you surround yourself with with wise people financially you're going to be wise financially because they're going to give you the best advice you're going to kind of follow them what is that saying that says um that whoever Which, you're around basically like the friends that you're around uh you actually will become like yeah yeah um uh there's a verse and i can't remember where it's at but it says bad company corrupts yes. good character you know, um, if you hang around with drug addicts, obviously you're probably more than likely, not always, but mm -hmm. you're going to fall into that. If you hang around people that squander or waste money, you're going to end up in that. If you hang out with people that save money, more than likely you're going to end up being a good saver. Um, it's all, you know, it, it comes down to, and just like the wisdom in Proverbs, it all comes down to uh, self-discipline. You know, if you take and discipline yourself to follow these proverbs, I guarantee you, it will mm -hmm. better you. It will literally better yeah. you as a person. Yeah. As a husband, as a, as a wife, as a mother, as a father, it will better you. Exactly. So, so he who cherishes understanding prospers. You know, that's telling you. Um, you know, the proverbs are a lot like, not like fortune cookies, but kind of. They have that little bit of wisdom you know you right. could put proverbs in fortune cookies and make people happy well yeah pro then maybe that's what they should be doing <laughs> instead of the weird <laughs> fortune you know, that's cookie. not bad maybe somebody should come up with biblical fortune cookies yeah proverbs cookies yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe, maybe, they they'd could, sell. maybe they could taste better than fortune cookies too. probably <laughs> maybe gluten-free yeah <laughs> gluten-free would be great <laughs> So, oh anyways, and our second uh, verse is Proverbs twenty-five twenty-eight, And it says, Like a city whose walls are broken down is a man without self-control, a man who lacks self-control. Yeah, so basically we don't have um, walls around our cities nowadays. Right. But if you think about way back in ancient times, that if you had a city and a group of people all together, they had the danger of um, being attacked. They had the danger of people wanted what they had. Oh, they probably have food behind those walls. They probably, or you know, so they would build anything these, of value. Anything of value, yeah. and so they would. Um, or, sorry, our cat is little bells just it's, shaking. It's away. all good. <laughs> it's all good. You're gonna. You guys are gonna barely hear that anyway. But anyway. Um, so they have the walls that are built around it for security to keep out the bad and to keep out danger. Yep. Um, and I, so this Proverbs is basically saying that if, um, if, if you are someone who lacks self-control, you're like a city without walls. You have no protection. Yeah, the you're, influence around you is going to overwhelm you. If you don't set up uh, wise... Um, mentally wise mm -hmm. financial walls in your mind mm -hmm. is an example just like they use walls back in the day to protect their city it's your responsibility to grow in your wisdom 
according to Proverbs, and put those borders around your mind. Uh, therefore, you will become wiser. You will be searching out wisdom, mm -hmm. according to Scripture, and you will become a wiser person. Exactly. Well, and there's so many different things that with money you can lose your self-control. Oh, yeah. You know, um, if you let hunger, like, you know, we one of our biggest weaknesses is if when I used to work and used to work and we would come home late and just tired and nobody wanted to cook, we're not, right. cooking is not relaxing to either of us. So no. we would just go out to eat too much. And yeah. that is one of our, if you lack self-control and say, we're only going to go out to eat this many times, right? you could end up just spending everything you've got going out to eat. Um, if you're someone who has a shopping uh, problem, then you may end up, um, you know, blowing your your whole paycheck emergency. on yeah, or your emergency fund or anything on shoes, clothes, or whatever, yeah. cars. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Or if you lack self control, believe it or not, sometimes um, you're a helper or you're someone who wants to help people and take care of people yep. and meet their needs and everybody comes to you asking for financial help when you almost don't have it yourself right. and you can't stop and say no so your lack of self-control to say no I need to protect what I've got right now I've helped you a lot or I've helped this person a lot or I don't know there's in the comments tell us some other lacks of self-control financially but, um, you know, Jay has a story about someone who did have a really big heart and wanted to help people, but he lacked the self-control to um, be able to say, no, I need to protect my finances. I need to have a wall around my city. Yeah. And the gentleman I'm talking about is, and I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, is um, MC Hammer um, is who it is. And he was worth an estimated 33 million, um, or over 33 million to Forbes magazine. And then mm -hmm. um, he spent it all a lot on um, helping people. Um, when he did music videos, he would put all kinds of extras in his videos. Then he would pay them, obviously, because he wanted to help them. Mm -hmm. Because it was people, and he loves people, and he wanted to help them. The unfortunate part of that, that is, is that um, he ended up, ultimately, he became $13 million in debt. Um, he filed for chapter, what was it, chapter uh, 11 bankruptcy, and that got denied. Then he changed it to chapter 7, and that still got denied. So when everything was said and done, he still was just... Um, toast. I mean, as far as financial, mm -hmm. I mean, $13 million in debt, that's a lot of debt. I don't care how big of a superstar or megastar you are, that is a lot of debt. So, with a quote from what he said, um, he says, my priorities were out of order, he told Ebony Magazine. Uh, he claimed, uh, my priorities should have always been God, family, community, then business. Mm -hmm. He's Then he states, Instead, they had been business, business, and business. So that goes to show you, even MC Hammer, who was mm -hmm. just a megastar back in the day, and he's still popular now, but not like he was in the late 80s, early 90s, into 2000. And this, this came from about 2009 is when all of this got put on here. So basically, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter who you are. If you don't search out wisdom, you're going to crash. Mm -hmm. And pride comes before a fall. It happened. And then he says his priority should have always been God first. So that explains it in a nutshell. Exactly. Well, I mean, and I think as a business owner, when, when you read that quote just now, I just was thinking, you know, as a business owner for that many years, I can understand where it, he said it's business, business, business. What happens is that being in business or whatever it is, it creates kind of this hunger where not in you, but 
the business itself needs you to be there. Um, it needs you to give. It needs you to give it all your attention or it's going to fail. You've got to give it all you got. Well, you it's know. the responsibility and the obligation. Yeah. That's what takes over is the responsibility. You feel like you have this huge responsibility and obligation. And employees and he had to a lot employees. of friends and he probably yep. came from not very much and and felt that those around him, he wanted to help bring them up. But yeah. still, the Bible says that a lack of um, a lack of self-control, even if you're doing it for a good reason. I know when I had a business, there I had a good reason. I was trained to be successful, and I wanted it to be for God, and I wanted it to better my family, and I wanted to help the brides that are around me. Right. But that starts to eat you away and take take away from um, the priorities that you need to have set in your life. Right. And, you know, I think that just a lack of self-control, no matter what you've labeled it as, this is a good thing, you know, mm -hmm. you have to be careful. And I think a lot of the times, too, in everyone's life, I don't care who you are, even in our lives, even in MC Hammer's life, um, we can even bring uh, Vanilla Ice into this whole story about not being wise and now he's wise. You know, um, everyone is taught a lesson in life and where we gain our wisdom is through Proverbs, mm -hmm. period. That's where we gain our wisdom and our knowledge is through God's word. Um, I'm interested to see and I haven't read any more up-to-date stories about MC Hammer but I'm willing to bet I'm willing to say that he's doing much better now because he got his priorities straight mm -hmm. so you can I'll tell have just to, from that quote I'll have to look uh, into it further but I'm sure that he's doing much better now because at this point he realized where mm -hmm. he was at and where he and where he should have been all along um, and I think all of us get to that point where we realize where we were at and where we're at now and where we should be, mm -hmm. you know, as far as wisdom. Make so. sure you've got your walls up around your city protecting yep. what uh, God's doing in your life and protecting your family and your, yep. um, and your relationship with God. Yep. So, and protecting your finances. Like if you've got an Definitely. emergency fund, you have to have self-control that says... Um, I will not use this for things that are not an emergency. Right. Let's define an emergency. And if you have a three right. to six month savings, um, you need to not touch that unless there's a crisis right. where you need to have your, you know, you lose a job or something. Yep. If you've got savings specific for something, you have to have self control. And then the self control of the monthly budget, yeah. making it work. Yeah. The self-control of that because yep. you can for even a short time be focused on something it's actually harder the longer you do it because you tend to the self-control kind of wears off a little bit mm -hmm. at first you could be like all oh, we're doing this well you it's almost like it's almost like when you're running and you get tired or weary you almost drift to the right lane yeah you know um you can even use it as a car for an example. When you have a, a crummy car and you're going up a hill, your crummy car isn't going to make it up the hill. If you have a brand new car, of course, it's going to fly up the hill. But with that crummy car, you know that it's going to overheat. You know what's coming, so you'll inch it over and you get into the slow lane or the truck lane or the you know overheat lane, like on a lot of hills, and you just stay there because your car is getting burnt out, you know, it's your car literally is getting weary, you know, not that it's a person, but the engine running wise and the fact that it's so wore out that it gets over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if you, um, can't remember where I was going with this, but if you rest and you then get back into the groove that you can take off and go again. Mm -hmm. I guess don't be weary. You know, it's so easy to when get weary comes, in life. When it comes to when it comes to wisdom, don't get weary. Wisdom in your finances yep. and you know, um, and if you are weary, get back back on track. Yeah. And yeah. 
reintroduce yourself to some new self-control yeah. and um, write out the list of maybe with you and your spouse of those things that are important to you. What is the stuff that you guys need self-control over and what are your rules? Like we will not touch emergency fund. Um, we will give when we need to give, but when that person has now asked three times yeah. for something, after the third time, we're, we need to let them learn a lesson themselves. Yeah. Um, you know, talk this over with your spouse because every little thing is a little different. Um, you still want to be a giving person. You still want to be caring, um, but you don't want that to be to take you down to the grave. And I would right. assume I don't know the story, but I would assume with MC Hammer that he had a lot of friends that came out of the woodwork when he had the money. Oh, I'm sure. And then I'm sure when he lost it all, they I'm all not went sure back into the woodwork. I don't know how many of those friends hung around. Right. Because those are called fair weather friends. Right. That are there when you've got things going good. And then they went back into the the woodwork. Yes. And disappeared. And then when he needed help, yeah. where were they? Right. We've all been there. Right. Right? Yep. So, yeah. Good. It's a good one. Good proverbs. Good yep. talk about MC Hammer. And by yeah. the way, we love MC Hammer. Oh, uh, yeah. I still have all his CDs. <laughs> I do. I've <laughs> exactly. got them. I've got them. Yeah. So we so, w we hope he's doing well. Yeah. If not, everybody needs to start buying his CDs again. <laughs> oh. Anyway, you got um, anything else? Nope. I'm okay. Good. All right. This is Jay Christus helping you say I do forever. Until next Money Monday, we'll see you guys. See you guys later. <laughs>